A day after the Social Welfare Department approved the extension of the social amelioration program in select areas, some families are still confused as to who are really eligible for cash aid. The DSWD says those who feel they should receive financial assistance but are not qualified may file an appeal. Manos Banos with a story. Living couple Teodoro Riocales and Emeline Duamag had to explain before the office of Valenzuela City Mayor Rex Gachalian. Both of them applied for the government's financial aid under the Social Amelioration Program and were approved. Hence, each of them were entitled to receive 8,000 pesos, a decision that did not sit well for their neighbors. According to the guidelines set by the Department of Social Welfare and Development, the 8,000 peso amelioration will be given per family and not per individual. Eh bakit dalawang form binigay nyo? <laughs> Hindi ho pwede yan ha? Next time wag uulitin. Mariresolba natin to kapag isa lang sa inyo ang tatanggap. Kasi kahit na ano pang paliwanag natin sa mga kapitbahay na may sarili kang pamilya, may sarili kang pamilya, eh nakikita nila nasa isang bahay lang kayo eh. Gatchalian says this is only among the many cases they encounter which slows down the distribution of the cash subsidy. The mayor faults the lack of list of beneficiaries from the DSWD, which could have been a big help. He adds, they sometimes had to painstakingly repeat the validation process because of erroneously filled out forms. The form, aasahan mo na truthful yung ilagay sa form. Minsan hindi truthful. Pangalawa, Mali-mali yung fill up ng form, so kailan mo pa ayusin in the sense na hahanapin mo ulit yung tao, katulad doon nangyari kanina, at uusisain mo na mabuti ano ba talaga ang circumstance sa buhay. News 5 went to one of the payment centers in Valenzuela where the validation and payout of the amelioration for the qualified residents are being done. The process is organized and social distancing is observed. Valenzuela has more than 200,000 households, but the DSWD only allocated SAP payout for 82,708 low-income families or those earning below the poverty threshold of around 10,700 pesos per month. Yung mga kabilang dito ay yung mga pamilya na may mga directly hired or occasional workers, kagaya ng mga uh, laundry maid, yung mga subcontracted workers, uh, home workers, house helpers, uh, POV drivers, uh, TODA, pedicab drivers, um, mga family enterprise owners, gayon din yung sub minimum wage earners, uh, and other uh, family members na kabilang doon sa informal sector. The DSWD also made it clear as to who are disqualified for the cash aid. This includes elected and appointed government officials, employees of the private and formal sector, families with retired members who are receiving monthly pension, and families with independent financial capacity to provide for their basic needs. But the DSWD clarifies an appeal can be filed for consideration. Maaari silang magsumite ng kanilang apila at sabihin na sila rin naman ay karapat dapat na mapabilang sa programa dahil sila ay low income, kabilang sa informal sector o meron silang ring pamilya, a miyembro ng pamilya na kabilang sa vulnerable sector. For News 5, Mean Los Baños, we are One News.